Hi, hi guys, it's Rumi the math person and today I'll be going over question 311 on exam PSOA website. So pause the video real quick and try to solve the problem yourself. Okay, so assuming that you tried this problem, let's just dive right into it. An individual, an, an individual experiences a loss due to property damages and loss due to bodily injuries. I'm just going to first assign these variables. I'm going to say property damages is X and bodily injury is Y. Losses are independent and uniformly distributed on an interval 0 to 30. Calculate the expected loss due to bodily injuries given that at least one of the losses is less than 1. Okay, not too bad. So, it says losses are independent. Wait, one. Losses are independent and uniformly distributed on an interval 0 to 30. So, let me actually draw, draw the picture real quick. So, so, from 0 to 3, for x and y, it's uniformly distributed. So we're trying to find the ex expected loss due to bodily injuries. Bodily injuries we said was expected on y, so we're just going to say what's the expected value of y given that at least one of the losses is less than 1. So that means x, it, it could either be x is less than 1 or y is less than 1 or x both x isn't and y is could be less than 1. So let me just say less than 1. <laughs> So I think this one problem, this problem is pretty easy to visualize if you draw a picture like this. So again, the three choices are it could be x less than one, or y less than one, or x is less than one and y is less than one. So let's just draw the um, x is less than one first. X is less than one right he in this region right here. Ooh, I have an idea. I can highlight it. Is right here. And y is less than 1 in this region right here. That's kind of awful. Oops, sorry. But y is less than 1 in this region right here. And x is both x is less than 1 and y is less than 1. Um, this region right here is this part right here. Oh, we can't really see it. Um, so it's this part. Erase, 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 erase. Well, that's gonna... Uh, at least I did my best. Okay. So, now we're just trying to find the expected loss. But because it's uniform, we know that the probability fun um, function is just the area of this. Or 1 divided by the area. So, what is the area of this? I'm going to section it up into this square and this square. So the first square I drew is the, the base is 3 and the height is 1. So it's this square right here plus second square right here because we don't want to double count anything twice is the base is 1 and the height is 3 minus 1. So it's 2. So this is equal to 3 plus 2 which is 5 which is 5 and the area or I mean the probability is just 1 over 5 okie dokie let me joke you now we're trying to find the expected value of y okay so we know expected value of y is always just whatever the um, limits are times y times 1 fifth and I think easiest way to do this is to just section it up into two sections so I'm gonna do it section it up the way I drew my squares first so I'm gonna do this square first okay so then this one I'm gonna do dy dx so the change in y is just going from 1 to 3 um, 1 to 0 and the change in x is going from 0 to 3 cool 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 oh, I um, actually dyslexic so okay and plus this second region right here so y is going from it looks like 3 to 1 and x is going from 0 to 1 y 1 fifth dy dx and then both of them are times y again that's because we're finding an expectation of y alright all right. we just have to solve this integral out not too bad so that's one fifth y. 
um, squared times 2 solving from 0 to 1, so that's just 1 tenth dx solving from 0 to 3. And then the second one is same thing. It will be y squared 1 tenth solving from 1 to 3. So that's um, 9 tenth minus 1 tenth integrating from 0 to 1 for the dx. Okay, okay, let me talk you. Let me simplify this. This simplifies to 8 tenth, 0 to 1, dx. And this one stays the same. Actually, I can just solve this one. This is 1 tenth, x, solving from 0 to 3. So that's um, 3 over tenth plus whatever this side is. So this is 8 tenth, x, solving from 0 to 1. So this is equal to 3 tenth plus 8 tenth. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 over 10. So that's equal to 11 over 10, 1.1, which is your answer C. All right, guys, if you have any questions, concerns, or recommendations, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you hit that subscribe button.